I swear, every episode is getting crazier and crazier. Last episode, we finally got the two McKins freaking shadow, giving us the best weapon for our magic build. Also, just the best magic weapon, period. We no longer miss as the shadow's innate three times accuracy multiplier and our magic relic accuracy boost basically means we ignore practically any boss or monster's defense. Even if they're normally dumb tanky to magic like Tecton Fossa, it doesn't matter. And the other thing of course is the Shadow's ridiculously strong auto attacks. The magic relic makes slow weapons like Shadow as fast as a blowpipe. We can spam anywhere from 60 to 90 damage every 1.2 seconds. The rest of our PVM grinds like Cogs for Giant Rank will be smooth sailing with the Shadow. Alright, I think I hopefully did it right. Oh, let's go. 35 seconds. Oh my gosh, just in time. I think I did the, the best time. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yes, I did the best time. So I spent some time relaxing after, and I did a bunch of AFKing before I went hard again on the PVM grinds. Alright, guys, we just got 99 cooking. And that's another 200 points. So here's the deal. I typically would just keep AFK and Karen Bonds at this point until like 99 or something, but I have a feeling I might have to do Temporals. I looked at the test and pretty good, so I could probably just get maybe 99 off of that. So we're gonna stop here. I have like 2k Karen Bonds anyways, like for food, so... And it's probably just overall way faster time save. You get more points for the amount of time, so... I AFK Ammonites for 99 strength and got my attack to the 90s. I faint to 99 strength because I figured it was the best weapon that I had because other than that it was a Dragon Scimitar. Then I whipped my attack levels as it was definitely better than a Fang for hitting things with no defense. I got a ton of fossils on the way and that's probably enough to complete the museum fossil exhibit for the 150 kudos. This will be needed to enter Volcanic Mine minigame later for mining related tasks and levels. We will talk more about that later on in this video. It was time to get back to Slayer for that imbue hard grind. I'm probably around two times dry as I have like 100 superiors already done. And it's definitely taking a lot longer than I would have hoped. I did get some nice clues and some secondaries for herb training. Oh, Dragon Harpoon. Is that a task? Let's get for Temporals though, I guess. I also got a Spider task. So I went ahead and I sent some Seratinus for the Combat Achievement task. And some General League tasks as they all give good points for Dragon Rank. It was super easy with Shadow as expected, and we blitzed through it. Also, being webbed didn't matter at this boss because I could just attack from a distance anyways with a Shadow. I didn't get all the unique drops for the task, but maybe I'll go back to it if I get another task, and if I need more points later on. Correctness done. Next, I got the Black Demon task, which is actually quite good because Demonic Grills are a ton of lead points. Getting all 4 Zion Jewelry, 500 kills, and both Ballistas give a ton of points. I figure I can get all of that done within the 500 kill task. Once again, Shadow obliterated the Demonics. However, I could not land multiple Berserker max hits on the Demonic because the moment I shoot out the first attack, even if it didn't land on the Demonic, it switches to Prey Mage on the first hit. Berserker relics are insanely flexible, however. To reiterate, with this relic, the first hit on the monster will always land and will always hit the max. I found a way to stack a max shadow hit and a max DDS hit at the same time, meaning I can do about 140 to 150 damage at the start of most demonic relic fights. This works because the magic attacks, especially with a shadow, takes a while to physically land on the enemy, which means that I can switch to my melee setup quickly and DDS the demonics, and Berserker will treat both DDS and the shadow attack as a first hit, as they will both hit the demonic at the same time. And because they already switched to Prey Mage, that means the DDS will land for sure. You need to make sure, however, you hit from a decent distance with magic and be comfortable with switching to Mega Gear fast enough. But it is super consistent and insanely powerful once you get it down. And the best part is, once that combo is done, it switches back to Prey Melee because of the DDS. And that means I can go right back into the shadow and just murk the demonics for more crazy damage. Oh, I got it! Yo, that's a task! Life frame, let's go. That is a task. Maybe I'll get the heavy frame on the way to 300. There we go. Yes, light ballista done. Cool. Oh, heavy frame! Yo, we did it! Once I do 130 more kills, we will be fully completed with the gorillas. Oh! Oh my god, dude. I fucking love demonics, man. 
Yo, two spirit tree seeds. I needed that. I just needed at least one, but I think I needed two. Oh my god, I already planted one in Brimhaven. I'm gonna plant one in my house. I could plant another one anywhere else. It, it doesn't matter. I can I can do these no matter what now. As long as they don't die. But yeah, I'm gonna work on that construction kind of soon. Uh, I do have the money for it. I just gotta cut some mahoganies and train some... The Heavy Ballista. Oh, let's go. Dang. There we go. Heavy Ballista. Oh, 90 attack. This, this is perfect because I'm about to finish my 500 uh, demonics. There it is, 500 uh, demonic gorillas. We are completely done. Uh, here we go. Oh, there we go. 500 kills. Everything's done. Beautiful. Dude, 100 superiors. What is this, Jaggies? Why you give me 40 points for killing 100 superiors, man? 25 mil Slayer XP, give me that. To prepare for this construction training to plant all these spirit trees, we're gonna... Sell all these items I got from Slayer at a high out shop. Apparently, you can sell one at a time. Alright, well, that's, uh... 6.8 mil. That's... Oh, look at that. Green cash stack. And we will out these if we have to. If worse comes to worse. Alright, so I'm going to be AFK woodcutting for a while at Mahogany's. And I need about 4,000 or so to get 99 construction. This is perfect because I'll probably get 99 woodcutting off of this. And it's super AFK as well. After killing all those demonics, I looked at my prayer potion supply. And it was kind of low, so I decided that I would train my herbler and use up all the herbs I farmed recently. And I managed to get myself to over 80 plus herbler. Lots of good points from some herbal elite tasks like making range potions, but a high level herb level will help me with a future grind that is quite big, which is herbivore. And I'll explain the near future when I do that task. Boom, 87 herbler. Holy shit. That's a lot of herb levels just for making a few hundred pots. So I did a bunch of combat achievements, right? You saw those last few videos. We killed a bunch of bosses like Brio Fighter, Gotizo, etc. I did all those tasks and look, I have rewards. I don't have a Scrania, so we're going to have to just talk to this guy instead. Uh, let me see. Something about combat rewards. Ah, there we go. See? I've done all the way up to hard, so... War <laughs> yeah, pest control. I don't have that, unfortunately. But what I do get is the XP lamps. I don't think I can really use any of the other rewards, though. From the combat achievements. Yeah, there we go. Another level. Alright, so this Yazor is actually coming in handy. I've only gone to Yazors, but they do prevent or reduce the chance of my plants getting diseased. So next, I did some crafting with my uncut gems from Slayer Embossing, and I did some Alcura gem shop cutting for 94 crafting. I stopped there because I can use the mushroom pie to boost to 98, which allows me to make the rest of the Zenites and also get all my best in salt jewelry and giving me mad league points. The anguish and torture will be useful for PVM for Okay, we're here now. We're finally here, guys. 520k, talk cool. But we are gonna buy the last two onyxes that we need. Yeah, alright, let's go do this. Okay, let's eat this pie. We're 98 crafting. Now we make the Zen amulet. There you go. Yeah, alright, now we enchant this, enchant this. So I wear this. Now wear this. There we go. 100. I mean, 400 points just for that. All Zenite jewelries. It's the next day. Time to go back to Slayer for that imbue heart. I had some leftover black demons from the demonic grind, so I did the rest as Scotizo for some good supplies and clue scrolls. Cooking cape acquired. So we're gonna need this so I can make sure I don't burn the anglers. Because with cooking gauntlets at 98, you stop burning, but I don't have cooking gauntlets. We got it. Cook a hundred. Oh, it's only a hundred anglerfish. Oh, I I already had that ready for a long time. I guess I thought it was two hundred. Yeah, but hey, I'll take it. Easy test. Watch this, dude. Not, he's not gonna see it coming. I don't think. Watch this. <laughs> then I put on the anti fire shield. <laughs> I don't have anti fire, but it's okay. I just do a sneak attack, and it's fine. Finally, we get another task for the imbue heart chance, which was the abyssal demons, which give good rates. Oh, I got it! Yo, we got it, boys! We got it! Yes! Oh my god, finally. 
Holy shit. We are out of here. Well, I guess, I don't know. I could skip this task now. I don't really need to do this. I'd rather get a, a Abyssal Demon task of the Sire variety. Holy, we did it. Finally, after 100 plus superiors, we landed the Imbue Heart. This item boosts my magic by 10 levels at 99 magic, which means my shadow will hit even harder as it's partly based on my magic level. This is going to be so nice for most bossing and PVM. Only major upgrades left for my magic build is Ancestral Set from Chambers, which will boost my damage even more. There's also Brimstone Ring and the Brimstone Boots, but they only improve accuracy, and I'm already way too accurate as it is. Now that we're free of doing a lot of regular Slayer, in the future when I do Slayer, it's going to be just for League Points. So I'm not going to do like regular Slayer that gives superiors, they don't really matter anymore. And yeah, Slayer's going to still be really important. I got a lot of extra Slayer points from the Bloodthirsty Relic grind though, so it's going to be really useful for just skipping a lot of pointless tasks. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh my god, Pyrrhicins, let's go, from crafting. Yeah, oh man. Oh, four dragon fruit seeds. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my days. Yes, that's also really good. I also did the Kingdom Divided quest for massive points and unlocked the thralls in my spell book on Arceus, which is bonus damage. I can use pretty much anywhere, so that's nice. Thralls are pretty OP even in the main game, so this would apply here too. Now I can shift my focus to more minigame related stuff because there's a lot of leak points in minigames and also helps me with skilling. Max. I went ahead and did all the Barbarian Assault level 5 rolls for elite tasks and also a diary step. I was also able to cast Sinister Offering and Surge spells through Barbarian Assault which gave me extra points. There was no way to get Wrath Runes outside of Barb Assault with my build and regions. So this strategy came in in clutch. I just had to be in an attacker roll and I get free Wrath Runes. Holy shit, Berserk, dude. Oh my god, this is awesome. Dude, Berserk as an attacker is actually dumb. I can just one-shot all these guys. Holy shit. Oh, I should have brought my cult necklace. Oh, I did, thankfully. Oh my god, you just one-shot them all. Uh, this is fun. I like it, I like it. Oh, I'm level 5. Yay, nice. Another 80 points. Oh, read the blackboard after reaching every uh, thing. Okay. There we go. Nice. We got it. Sweet. Oh, I need to select the reward first. I did. Yay. Nice. Next, I headed off to Winnetot and did all the combat achievements for it. And I got 10kc, which gave me some pyromancer pieces for a task. I'll probably finish that set when I go for 99 fire making for the eventual max league task. Bro, Southeast again. It died? Bro, who the hell's doing Southeast? Oh, we're good. We're good. No, it's all good, bro. Leaving no one behind. We're fine. Ah, there it is. All the combat achievements for Winter's Hot should be done. Oh, Pyromancer's Hood. Okay. So close. What's the Pyromancer set for this? I think I'll probably get it on the, on the way to 99. Now I took a break from the mini games to work on some chambers. We already tested even challenge more raids with our shadow setup and it worked wonders. So that means regular raids will be even more chill. Alright guys, this is going to be my raid setup. It looks kind of weird, but I'm basically max mage, right? We're going to mage everything but guardians, so that's why I have this. The melee setup with the D pick. I'm um, also going to bring thralls. Anchor's note stuff, of course, throwing axe. Also, Warren can, what the hell is this? Well, if I get ever stuck on the flame wall, actually, Warren can tech works. I'll show you guys if you haven't seen that already. I want to do mostly normal chambers because it's better balanced between regular drops and purples. I still want a tablet so I can teleport to chambers directly. And also a torn prayer scroll so I can extend my imbue heart boost by 50% using the preserve spell that I unlocked from it. Both are very common so it shouldn't take too long but they require white lights, not purple lights. Also the regular drops are nice too like pure essence, herbs, planks for maxing and more. Oh, oops. Okay. <laughs> we use the watering can. Oh, I think I, I think I found the method that I'm, I want to do. I think this method is really good. Okay. That is a really good method. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, we got white light, but it's all good. This is actually what I want. Because I want to get the tablet. Oh, 
Oh my god, I did a lot of stuff. Oh, I didn't get anything. I didn't get the tablet, bro? Are you serious? No, but I did a bunch of combat achievements, though. From my experience, it seems to be about 50% purple chance doing a normal solo, so that's still incredibly good considering I usually do them in under 50 minutes, even with the scouting included. I was doing over 4 raids an hour with this setup, which is absolutely insane. Also, the shadow DDS trick that I use at Demolish is also really good for chambers. I use that trick at Tecton and Ohm melee hand because shadow does reduce damage. So a Berserk shadow into DDS spec is so nice to speed things up there. Oh my god, let's can go dude you like that that was fun i can also use that trick on fossil crystals which lets me one shot them for the same reason but sometimes i can just berserk three shadow hits at vasa if he moves far away enough for me which is also uh basically a one down but it depends on some rng so i sometimes have to do that crystal <laughs> the berserk strat oh my god i berserk strated the crystal dude that was crazy Nice. Oh. Holy shit. That was awesome. Hopefully I finished the task. I don't know if I did or did. Oh, I did. Perfect ohm solo. Haha. <laughs> oh, I got a purple though, so that means no tablet. Hey, that was nice. We got a, we got a drop though for playing a task. Well, what will it be? Because I'm kind of hoping just to get tablet right now, but I'll take, a, I'll take a purple. I'll take an ancestral right this moment. Oh, that's awesome. Ancestral top. Let's freaking go. Holy shit. Yo, already? Alright, I really don't want to rush it and complete Ancestral right away, but uh, I'll take a first piece. A first piece is definitely a welcome addition. Vanguards, though, they were not that bad if you know what to do. So as long as I'm not overloaded, I can just do one shout hit for each Vanguard and actually won't reset because it doesn't actually pass the threshold. Then I just do one hit to each of them and keep an eye out for the HP and it's no reset. If I am already overloaded and Vanguard is up, then I can't do the one hit shadow because it's going to be a max hit and it's going to hit way too high with the overload scale. So what I do instead is I use the Sage's Axe to hit each of them once and it's only going to hit for like a 10 or 20. So that means the Berserk effect is over. Then I can shadow each of them one at a time. And for the most part, Berserk can easily be circumvented so that you don't reset Vanguard with that relic. All right, this thing's dead. Like, that's a three shot. Oh my god, look at this shadow. Look how filthy it is. Look, it's dead. 89, 89. <laughs> it's so crazy. This is so cheating, but um, this is leaked, so that's that's what it's like. Holy moly. And... That sucks. All right, whatever. I did at least two of them, though. All right. Yeah. Okay. Oh. There we go. Not so special lizard task done. Let's go. All right. Tablet. No way, dude. Tablet's more rare than a purple in leagues in this league. Ooh, the Sang Staff Haver. This is the uh, Verf Arc now. <laughs> oh, purple. You get purple? Yeah. All right, what do you got? Oh, Arcane. Let's go. <laughs> I know. Yes, let's go. I know, right? Hey, two purples already. Let's go. I need, I need a tablet though, man. Where's the tablet? Oh, dude, you're gonna die so fast. Wait, what? It missed you. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that shit is so satisfying. It never gets old. Tablet, tablet. Another purple. What the hell? What did I get? What? No way! No. <laughs> what do I even do with this? What do I even do with this, bro? I mean, points. <laughs> I did. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, but yeah, I just gained 400 points. That's uh, one step closer to dragon rank, I guess. Hey. I got you. I saved you. Oh, I saved Verf. But the watering can tech. No tablet? Oh, speed test. Dang. Ten of them. Oh, I got the tablet! What an incredible first day of chambers as I managed to get the twist above all items with our tablet too. The rarest teardrop and it's probably going to be super useful at Ohm Head even over the shadow because the Ohm Head reduces my shadow damage and I definitely feel that damage reduction hard. At least once I get Rigor and Dragon Arrows from Cox combined with my Missouri, 
the Twisted Bow should be able to out damage the Shadow on the head phase. We will find out once I get these drops soon. But the Torn Pearl Scroll remains to be seen, so I'm going to be looking forward to getting that. To wrap up the night, I decided to clean all the fossils I got from mostly Amalite Crabs, and it turned out to be enough of every type of fossil just to build all of the fossil sets at Farak Museum, which got me over 150 kudos for the Volcanic Mine, and a ton of XP lands, which I put on Herbler and gained insane levels. I probably don't have to do any herb runs at this point because I could easily get 99 off the Diary Lamps, I'll be doing soon and the Cox Dark Relic drops, which gives me like 200k herb XP per Dark Relic. I should have enough potions to last me the rest of the leagues already, and PVM should supply me with more herbs if I need to make more pots. Holy XP. Jeez, look at that. I gained like a few herb levels. Actually, I'm gonna get another one, I think. Oh, 92. Oh, yeah. Have we done with herb lore already? So I set out to do Volcanic Mine now for some points and XP because Verif wanted to try some out when I had it unlocked. And we did some preliminary testing together. Results were pretty good, XP was good, and it was really fun. I plan on getting 99 mining through Volcanic Mine very soon, probably when Verif gets his Dragon Pick. I got enough Calcite and Power Falsified to do the Enriched Fossil task. This prayer method is actually quite good for prayer XP. So if I do VM to 99, I should have enough of the calcites and power phosphates to keep doing this method. I also get more fossils as well. And also on top of that, when I finish my Orbibor task and whatnot, I should get a ton of fossils from that too. So then I can use this method to burn the remaining fossils for XP. This might be worth 25 mil per for the league points. We'll find out soon if it actually works out. I started the day AFKing sharks for the 100 shark task and I did some mahogany AFK weakening for 99 con preparations. However though, I realized I probably don't need to gather too many planks for 99 con because I believe I have a lot of XP banked in lamps that will probably be left over from lamping 99 herbler. Originally, I was going to get 99 herbler off the diary lamps, but I only thought about the elite lamps. There are still a lot of lamps from like medium and hard tier diaries left as well, so I could use that on construction or something. Once again, I can get even more XP from Dark Relics and Chambers, so I'll definitely have leftover lamps for other skills. So my two hard skills is pretty free at this point with minimal resource prepping. Just do the Diary Lamps and Chamber Dark Relics. And now we head back to the regular chambers to once again try for the Torn Prayer Scroll for Preserve. And of course getting anything else we can in terms of Purple's Ancestral would be good. Nice. Exit and should be dead. Yes, I am feeling super comfy with these raids now. It just feels like raiding when I used to do these every day for months on end, going for the Twisted Bow on the Iron Bar account, of course. But yeah, I was averaging 4.5 raids an hour. Scouting was so easy this time around because all I looked for was overloads and a 5 room layout. Oh man, Rune Arrows, Badge. Badge, that's not what we're looking for, but. Damn, 221k herbal XP, I'll take it. Wait, maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Oh, I got it, nice. Ah, oh, shit, it's purple. Oh, I got deck scroll. Okay, that's sick. Hell yeah, that's good for uh, Tebow. Because right now, Tebow is still not strong enough. I need dragon arrows and rigor. With Missouri Tebow, and I can actually compete with Shadow Magic Relic combo, so that's not bad. Most rooms are doable in under a minute with my Shadow setup, like the Shamans and Skeletons. The only slowish rooms are like Tecton, Ice Beam, and Mudadal, but they're about two minutes to three minutes. Well, at least I got this key across. I'm not even gonna bother killing him. Oh, I got it! Oh, what the hell, man? Dude, I didn't even have to do all that crazy complicated shit. Ohm only takes around 6 minutes with my non-stop shadow spamming and sage axe throwing on Ohm hands and head phase. Thanks for the range XP. Oh no, I got a purple, but we'll take it. It could be ancestral. They're all good. Anything's good. I could die, it's good. I get a purple, it's good. Here we go. Oh, ancestral hat. Huge. That's actually huge. I forgot to do a comparison between mystics and ancestral. Let's just uh, do... The top, right? Because I didn't do that comparison. But look at the accuracy when I put the top on. That's an extra 40. And I also get 6% extra damage. 
on magic with the shadow right here. So it's absolutely insane. Look at that. 45 to 51% and I put on the hat. Now we're 57%. There you go. That's going to be for the T-Bow. Because I need to save some arrows. Oh, I remember rocking this back in the day. That's my first ever 99 risk cube. I also did not get dragon arrows for a while, so I decided to try out rune arrows with a bow because the head face felt kind of rough and magic. It turns out that the rune arrows with twisted bow setup is actually quite noticeably better. It's like 10 20 seconds faster. That's how you know the twisted bow lives up to his reputation as a super strong weapon because even the shadow with the magic relic cannot beat the twisted bow in a situation like this. So now we do have another very powerful mega rare on our arsenal that is proven to benefit us. Alright, I'm gonna gain some distance first so I can do the guarantee hits. Oh, actually it's worth it. Oh my god, they don't have to do the DDS strat. Reserve. Oh, dragon arrows though. And Paris's. Okay, I wanted dragon arrows. Nice. Okay, our half face will go even faster now, I guess. Okay, we got a purple, so that means no preserve for today. Definitely uh, have done enough for today, guys. Next scroll again. Yeah, we should be seeing dupes now because we have gotten like four items or something. Anyways, boys, let's see if we get full ancestral first or preserve first. Find out on the next episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys very soon.